come up at turn number four. Sprint car feature racing is underway. Wayne Weaver off the ball, grabbing the lead. Lee Nardelli hanging tough on the outside. Now he'll pull right on his back bumper as they race down the back. Go down, making it a three car race for the lead as he sits in the wings here off of turn number four. It'll be Wayne Weaver leading lap number one. Brian Go down, looking for some racing room as he takes another look low. He's under Nardelli, sliding into the second spot for Go down. Now it's Weaver and Go down. Nardelli back to the outside as he drifts up to the cushion. Now it's a good run off of turn number two, but Go down holds on to the second spot. Go down a master at turn number three as he dives to the bottom with that momentum that got him second spot, but he can't make it past as he gets right up on Weaver this time. Weaver's led the first three laps. Go down with a nice move down and low in turn number two. He'll pull even as they race down the back. Weaver surging back ahead. Now go down going in hard down on the bottom and he grabs the lead in turn number four and he does not look back. He takes the lead down the front. Links over third place Lee Nardelli. Checkered flag is in hand, and it'll be Ryan Godown taking the first event of the season for the wingless sprint. Wayne Weaver will be second, followed by Lee Nardelli, Lou Ciccone, and last year's champion Bobby Butler, Brian Spencer, will get sixth, followed by Heidi Head. It'll be up to him, Kevin McClavichek alongside off of four racing! It's Andrew Bone grabbing the lead. David Van Horn right in his way, grabbing second as they exit turn number two and down the back. McClellan got up high in turn two. He gets shuffled back a few spots, although he makes a nice recovery. Pouch Jr. already up the fourth. Yellow is out. They come off of turn number four. We're back to green. Bone right back to the start on the throttle. Here comes Pouch Jr. around Van Horn as they're side by side for second. Looking to make it three wide for the lead. Andrew Bone will have none of that. Foot to the floor and he holds the lead. Pouch Jr. squeezing in a second in front of Van Horn. Van Horn we're staying right up against them now as they come off of turn number two. Looking off of turn number four and down the front. Bone continuing to set the pace. You can throw a blanket over the top three, and now Pouch Jr. pulls out a line looking for a pass. He moves to the outside, and he'll take the lead down the back stretch. And Pouch Jr. out to the outside. He'll swing through one and two and open up a couple of car lengths right away as Van Horn gets by bone. DVH moving into second spot now. Chad Bourne, he got up a little high there, and that opened the door for John McClellan, who goes by both Barney and go down and into third. Bone has also slid back out of the top five. It is Pouch Jr. with Van Horn. Then John McClellan, look out, we got a car backwards and a pile up in turn four and a car upside down. And that is Lou Farina rolling on his roof. Red lights are on. Red 15 down and 15 to go as Pouch Jr. Here comes go down under Van Horn. Van Horn will have none of that as he holds him off. Once again, he drifts up. Go down again right there as they go side by side. A great battle for second place. Chad Barney holding on the fourth. McClellan had gotten by him, but he returned the favor and takes it back. McClellan fifth, Grosso right on their bumpers in the sixth spot. Chad Barney trying to hold off John McClellan in lap traffic as well. Off at turn number four, it is Pouch Jr. getting the two to go sign, two laps to go. Back bumper, but will negotiate a lap car in turn number three. Down the front, checkered flag for Billy Pouch Jr. Van Horn will be second, go down his third. <laughs> Here they come up at turn number four. Green is out. Through one and two down the back. It is Billy Osmond, the third, out in front as he opens up a couple of car length. Down the front they come to complete lap number one. Wall takes a look under Dupree as they head into turn number one. Ross fifth and Tom Tanner. Fulper has come all the way back from that spin to seventh position. 
Mike Lyons is slowing on the inside of the track. Looks like he's going to head off. Lee Osmond the third for his first ever sportsman win. Down the front checkered flag for Billy Osmond. Dupree, Lyman, Pat Wall, and Kale Ross, the top five. 